SDS Aron Con E Day in the computers.com ultra video parity oi. Another computer problem. This one deals with the printer. Let's cut to the chase. Verbatim. Hi, I have an Epson printer WF3640. I have issues scanning documents to my Apple MacBook because repeatedly there is a message that appears on my Epson screen saying, quote, communication error. Check if the computer is connected, unquote. Do you know how this can be fixed? Initially, I thought it was the universal serial bus USB cable, but I changed that too, and it did not fix the connectivity issue. Please advise. All right, so a little bit of troubleshooting on their end, which is always a good thing. That error will probably be the title of this video. I just don't know. I haven't performed search engine optimization yet, and I haven't written a blog post, but most likely I will probably use that as the title of this video. They were using a MacBook Pro, I think. A MacBook, MacBook Pro, it's all good. With Sierra Macintosh operating system 10.12.6 installed. Here is how to solve this problem. You're going to remove all instances of your printer software from applications. On a Macintosh, down below in the dock, you'll see a gear. Well, there's another way to get to applications. Use Finder. Finder is the two-faced icon. <laughs> That one always cracks me up. That can't be an accident. I don't believe that that icon is an accident. It's literally a two-faced icon. You know, that's apropos for America and Americans. They are very two-faced, but let's try to solve this problem. It's blue and white two-faced icon called Finder, hence the term Finder. It helps you find shit. It helps you find files. It helps you find programs. It helps you find images and documents and audio and video and your AshleyMadison.com account. And it helps you find your sanity. <laughs> I wish it did, but it does not. Open Finder and then go to Applications. Once you open Finder, then at the top menu on the Macintosh, go and click on Go. Click Go and then choose Applications. You're going to want to remove the printer software entirely from your Macintosh. This was an Epson WF3640. Look for an Epson folder and then look for an uninstall or a removal, something that will remove the software so that you don't have to fuck around. If you cannot find like an uninstaller or a removal tool, on a Macintosh, another way that you can remove software is just dragging and dropping the entire folder. So look for the Epson folder and then drag and drop it to the trash can. That will remove it. However, here's a bonus tip that I learned. This is a weird one. I don't know if it's a bug or just a weird occurrence in the computing world, but you may want to and you may have to empty the trash. So after you've removed move the folder Epson to the trash can, just go ahead and right click and then select empty the trash can. I had one or two customers where when they went to reinstall the printer software, it fucking wouldn't work. It just kept creating the old problem until I found out that if you empty the trash, then that will properly remove the software that way and then sure enough it fixed that problem so that's just a, an added tip that I'm giving you now you want to browse to printers and scanners you can also use finder to get to printers and scanners or you can click on the gear icon it's a gear down in the dock and then go to printers and scanners now on a Macintosh, 
the way to remove a printer is click the minus sign. So select it, highlight it. There might be multiple printers on your Macintosh. Just depends on maybe you installed multiple ones or you had an old printer and you didn't remove it, whatever. So make sure you have the correct printer, the Epson W F3640. Make sure you select the right printer. Click the minus sign and it should remove it. That sh that's it. That is what solved this problem. And then you would download and reinstall the software. Since this is a more specific video and I will probably most likely tailor it for the, the Epson WF3640, I will include a link to the direct download for the printer software for the Epson WF3640 on a Macintosh computer with Sierra 10.12 installed. So click on the link in the description box below that will take you to my website anitcomputers.com so that you can read the abstract blog post with a direct link straight to Epson for your exact operating system. Once you download it, double click it or drag it. Well, on a Mac, you can drag it, whatever. Just double click it once you download the software. If it's in the web browser, you could double click it while it's still downloading or after it's done downloading. You know what I'm saying? Or you can, I, th I think you can also drag it to your applications folder. Just fucking install the, <laughs> the software. And then do not connect your printer until you are prompted. Wait until the software installation for the Epson WF3640 asks you to connect your printer, then go ahead and connect it. This is what fixed that problem, is removing the software completely, removing it from printers and scanners, removing it off the hard drive, and then go ahead and reinstall it. Now, with a Macintosh, you don't necessarily have to go back to printers and scanners to reinstall it. It should, the installer should install it, although on Macs aren't perfect. They fuck up a lot. You may have to go into printers and scanners and manually add it. If there's a problem, you would just click on the plus sign and then go ahead and your printer may show up. It may not you would manually type the name of it in. You would need to know the IP address of it in order to add it, and then you would add it that way. But on a, even on a Macintosh, I don't know what the percentages are. Most times when you perform the removal the way I've instructed and reinstall it, it usually works, but not always. Mac and, no, Mac and craps, no. They're not perfect. Uh -uh. I know the Macintosh fanboys and girls they're in a cult. They worship some stupid, abstract, crooked, criminal, corrupt corporation called Apple, and they claim that Macintosh are perfect. They never have problems. Bullshit. All right. Let me give you some additional tips. This is overtime. You can leave now. You probably already have. I don't go fucking care. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about how long you watch my videos. It would be nice if you watch them for an hour, but you know, and you, and you, you know, I don't want to talk about that, but whatever. M my way that I've obtained over 4 million views, close to 5 million now, is views, views, views. I don't need subscribers, but whatever. Here's some additional tips. Now, if you notice in the beginning, this individual had already tried some troubleshooting, which was excellent. And that is one of my tips. Here's another tip. When you come across these weird errors, here's what I always ask. What device is that error showing up on? It makes a big difference. It really does. Does that error show up on the printer display or does it show up on your computer or both? If the error shows up on your printer display, chances are a higher percentage, not always, not always, a higher percentage, it could be a hardware problem. If the error shows up on the computer, like in this scenario, the error showed up, well, wait a minute, did I ask? 
Yes, this one actually showed up on the printer. It, well, it says here, there is a message that appears on my Epson screen. I'm assuming that they mean the liquid crystal display, the little graphical display on the printer itself. That's very important to know. Is the error showing up on the printer, this display itself, on the computer, or both? Whenever I see these kinds of errors, I always ask, where is it showing up? If it's on the printer, here is a gold tip. This is my gold tip of this video. And they already had already tried part of it. Yeah, they tried half of it. It's really this, I'm giving you two tips in one, but it's, a, it's gold because it actually fixes a lot more issues than you think. It, no, 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 no. I have no idea what the percentages are. I don't even think it's 50-50. It's less than 50%, but it's so easy, and you'd be surprised how many times it fixes a problem with printers. What you want to do is you want to power off the printer. Power it off. Disconnect the power cable from the wall outlet and the printer if it's one of those removable ones. If it's hardwired, then just disconnect the power from the wall outlet. Then disconnect the USB cable from both the printer, which is the square end, and the flat end from the computer, in this case, a Macintosh. So disconnect the universal serial bus cable, USB cable, from both the printer and the computer. Then leave it setting there for five to 10 minutes with no power. It could be electrostatic discharge. Printers are very flaky. I think it, they, they can overheat, believe it or not. They get very hot. They can overheat. Sometimes they just act a fool. They act like they're fucked up, like they are intoxicated or they have been, you know, or, or, you know, you know, that sort of thing. Most Americans are, that's all they do is, you know, whatever. Anyways, they don't take anything serious is what I'm trying to say. It's extremely hot in here. I don't know. Well, it's been extremely hot still, like close to 100 degrees every day. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I don't know what kind of quagmire I... Anyways, in a, hopefully in a month it'll, you know, simmer down and I'll be able to enjoy my life a little bit. But what I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Then, after five to ten minutes, go ahead and plug, obviously plug in the power cable into the wall outlet, and then plug in the USB cable, the square end, into the back of the printer, and then the flat end onto your Macintosh computer. Then power on the printer. I need to run. I think this video is close to ten minutes now. I need to run. Then go ahead and power up the printer and see if it works. That is my goal tip in this video. And I gave you an extra special tip is since you're already powering off the printer, you're not going to obviously use it. You won't be able to. This is another tip. Believe it or not, disconnecting the USB cable from both printer and computer solves a lot of printer problems. It does. It, it's not 50. I don't even think it's 50%. It doesn't matter because it's easy. Here's a, another additional tip. If you, if you don't see a funky error like this, the printer just, it seems to function okay. You, you can go into the settings. You can, in the LCD, you can access the network settings. You can access the settings on the printer itself. But it, it's just not working. It, you don't necessarily have to power off the printer. You would just disconnect the USB cable from both ends, printer and computer, plug it back in and see if you can print now. That actually works. It does. But since this problem had an error, communication error, check of computer is connected. Well, and this, this end user was excellent because they, to me, obviously use some logic. Because the error is a reference. It's a hint. Communication error. Check if computer is connected. Well, why isn't the fucking computer connected to my goddamn fucking Epson, you know, WF3640? What the fuck is going on? Well, one clue is to check the USB cable. It did not fix the issue, 
but they at least tried. That is one of my tips. But when it comes to errors that's on the printer and even on the computer, then I always just kill two birds with one brown stone. I kill two pale-skinned European supremacists with one of my brown stones. You know what I'm saying? Any other tips as I need to run? Now, if the error code were to show up on both printer and computer, same tips. If the error code were to show up on the computer but not the printer, same tips. So that is one thing that you may want to remember is where is the error showing up? Because that's another clue that can help you troubleshoot. You know what I'm saying? In this instance, it was not the USB cable. Disconnecting, reconnecting, that didn't fix it. But that does not mean that if this individual tried, it probably wasn't. It could, now, it could be the software. Even on a Mac and crap, Apple is not perfect. The software becomes corrupt. It, it's similar to Windows. You'll be printing away a million, a thousand page TPS report for, the app, for that asshole and bitch, also known as your boss, and they want it turned in on time, and you've been printing away on time, and then all of a sudden, you didn't touch anything. You went to participate in some bready circuses, you came back, and then you went to print, and you saw this fucked up error or nothing happened. That is where you want to power off the printer for, for a while and just leave it alone. They overheat. They just, they, they, they're not perfect. Once in a while, you have to power cycle a printer. In this scenario, most likely it was the software that was corrupt. And that can happen on a Macintosh. So I already went over those instructions. Remove the software completely. You may have to empty the recycle bin and then remove it from printer. That's an important step. Don't forget that step. You want to completely remove the Epson 3640 from your Macintosh. You don't want to ever see it again, right? So those are two ways that you have to follow those two steps. And then download the software, reinstall it, and a high percent of the time it works. You know what I'm saying? Not always. It's not always absolutist. But oh, another printer video. And you may see my mood change because I have a surplus of fucking printer issues. I probably I have a backlog. The last time I counted, I had like 80 or 90 videos that I can make based upon my backlog of helping computer end users in the real world. And so now I know, I remember that last year, towards the fall and the winter, I made a lot of money, even though I hate printers, supporting printers. So if I start cussing <laughs> and yelling and ranting and raving, it's because I've got a backlog of printer videos and, I, and just every other day, man, it's going to be printer, printer problem, printer problem, printer problem, printer problem. And it's going to be redundant, redundant, redundant. Disconnect the cable, disconnect the cable, remove it from printers and scanners, reinstall it over and over and over. <laughs> Here's my last item. You can also use this video and these instructions and these tips as a basis to troubleshoot printer problems with other operating systems, Linux and even Windblows. Micro crap, micro shit, micro slop, Windblows Incorporated. But obviously, the steps are not going to be the exact same. But the, the, the two principles you have to remove the printer software from Windows entirely. And, you, and then, but the, I don't want to digress about that. But as a basis point, you're going to use this, a similar troubleshooting steps. Adios. As I sweat. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Anyways, I don't want to go there. I was, you know what? I'll just throw this one out there. I'm sh I don't think I have any loyal subscribers. I'm sure they would love it if I just disappeared one day. 
I, I got too hot and I burned up myself. <laughs> Adios. <laughs>